Like the only problem with Egypt is, like the sandwiches here are the only sandwiches here. Get it, Scoob? Rare. Rye read it. We haven't seen Melbourne O'Reilly in ages. It sure will be great to hang out with my favorite adventurer explorer again. Especially because he's invited us on an actual archaeological dig. Oh look, that must be where we're meeting Melbourne. Melbourne. <laughs> wow, thanks for having us out here. Howly moly, it sure is great to lay eyes on you blokes and blokettes. Is this where we'll be doing the dig? Right you are, right over there, over by the Pyramid of the Moon. The artifacts I've found so far are truly amazing. I think you folks are in for a rad adventure. And if anyone knows adventure, it's you, Melbourne. Oh, oh no, it is the curse of the mummy. Well, the night's a beaut. We can just camp under the sparkling stars. Like only if we ignore that creepy pyramid right behind us. <laughs> Melbourne, can you tell us what that driver meant by Curse of the Mummy? It's an ancient story. What little I know about the mummy comes from those hieroglyphics. Zoinks! The symbols tell a tale of Pharaoh Scamses the 15th, who lived 3,000 years ago. He was done in by resentful slaves, and his mummified remains were laid to rest in the Pyramid of the Moon. It is written that if any trespass on his land, the mummy will arise with his zombified minions, and take brutal revenge. <laughs> like, are we by any chance trespassing on his land right now? Well, yeah. I reckon. It's just that I've always been kind of allergic to brutal revenge. Join us. Join us. <laughs> it's the Pharaoh's zombified minions! Crikeys! Run for it! You took the words right out of my mouth! Except for the crikeys! Like, I knew I should have packed an umbrella. Did we actually see a mummy and zombified tourists? Can't say for certain. The desert night plays tricks in the imagination. Or else there is something to that mummy's curse. We need to stick around and find out. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Yeah, like I'd give anything for a glass of water. 
over the side of fries. Wouldn't that make you more thirsty? Okay, the side of fries and then the glass of water. Coins, please, coins. Uh, no thanks, but we wouldn't mind something to drink. Where could we get some nice, cool water? Well, unfortunately, we're in the middle of a terrible drought. The only water left in Wadi Anka belongs to the prince. Then maybe we should find the prince. Prince Kazil Al Famir, at your service. Ever since Wadi Anka dried up, even I have been driven to beg. Like, is there anywhere we can get something to eat? I'm afraid for food and drink. You must travel to the nearby village of Salkara. I think all of us are in need of some nourishment. Prince, what's the fastest way to Zalkara? Camel Sam's. Last camels on the lot. Unlimited mileage. Camel hair upholstery. Return them directly to the airport for your convenience. Just be sure to replace their water levels. Wow, you're doing very good business. Oh, ever since the drought, people need to leave Warian car however they can. And my camels are in demand. Seems like Camel Sam is actually blessed by the mummy's curse. There's definitely no drought in this town. And that seems to be the happening place. Bienvenue, mes amis. I am Mademoiselle Chantal. Do you have reservations for my bistro? Ah, a French woman. Let me handle this. <clears throat> bon jovi, Mademoiselle. We've been out in the desert, and we thought we'd pause de do inside for some of your soup du jour of the day. I am sorry, monsieur. But you must wait in that very long line. Guys, look! Crikey, those zombie types. We need to get inside and look at what's going on in there. I think I have a way. Madames and Monsieur, Chantal's is happy to present for your entertainment pleasure. The Fatima Sisters. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> the only dance my belly knows is the cakewalk. Gliders. Join me. <laughs> Saved again by Melbourne O'Reilly. Wow. Are you girls okay? We're fine. But what's that? This piping seems to go straight out there for miles directly towards the Pyramid of the Moon. Would you look at all those cobwebs? This might be the world's first website. <laughs> Reb right. There's too many rooms to cover. We'll have to split up. We might as well take the scary route. It always ends up like that anyway. Oh. 
So this is where the pharaoh was sleeping for the last 3,000 years? Rikes? Phew, it looks like no one's home. <laughs> Wow, for a place that's short in powder rooms, it sure is long and plumbing. Rare. Like, I guess we better try and find Fred and the girls. Fred, Velma, Raphne, join us. Hey, what are you doing? It's us, Shaggy and Scooby, and and you're horrible zombies. But but that's okay. Friends don't judge. Uh-oh, dead end. Wow. Shaggy? Scooby? Hey, you're back. We must have been under some kind of mind control. Come on, we have to get out of here. We've got to get out of here! <laughs> Whew, safe and sound. <laughs> Now let's unmask this phony pharaoh. Well, Melbourne O'Reilly? What? No, not Melbourne. Why, Melbourne? Why? I, I wish I knew, mate. <gasps> Look! Like that guy found the emergency exit. I'll get the blighter. Prince Kozel of the Mirror. There's a mystic hieroglyphic symbol pronounced RELP. It must break the trance. You're a hypnotist. Wow, Scoob. Your RELP saved our necks. Scooby Doo. Well, here's four words you'd never expect to hear from me. What the heck happened? Well, like whilst you three were acting all zombie like. Scooby and I found this waterworks underneath the Pyramid of the Moon. Like pipes, wheels, and gauges. Diverting water from an underground branch of the Nile River, creating the drought in that town. So the pipeline we saw brought water to the other town, Zalkara, and success to all its businesses. All probably owned by that Mademoiselle Chantel. Madame Chantel. She is my wife. It was all a scheme to make the two of them rich. He created zombie slaves to threaten intruders. Melbourne's dig was probably getting too close, so the prince put him and others under his spell to do his bidding. Yeah, and I would have stayed that way too, if it weren't for you meddling nippers. Scooby-dooby-doo!